E-racing. Sally Kent has been here 11 years. Well, the race department is a huge piece of Neshoba. Thankfully, uh, the Fletchers designate half the hill, pretty much half the hill here to racing. So it's a really important part of the ski area to them. Alan Senior's always been big on taking chances. I think that's one reason why we're all standing here. I mean, this guy, everything he touched turns to gold. If skiing or snowboarding is not for you, you can head over to the snow tubing park. It's not like skiing. Skiing, there's a lot of capability required. Tubing, you have to know how to sit down, that's it. Of course, none of this could be possible without snow. Water is blue, air here. They mix at the top of the gun here and combine, and they atomize water, and the air hits it and freezes it. That's how you form a snow crystal. No longer dependent on Mother Nature, Neshoba Valley relies on state-of-the-art snowmaking equipment to blanket the mountain. This is our compressor building with our new electric high-efficiency electric compressors. Tim Wiley has been Neshoba Valley snowman for 15 years. We used to have a pump that had an old Frankenstein electric switch that you'd have to throw to engage the pump. <laughs> we're talking medieval type stuff. Yeah, we're talking real early type. He's brought us into the 21st century of snowmaking. <laughs> and that's the truth. You know, we, we've come a long way, as he, as he just said, from diesel compressors to electric compressors to high-efficiency machines like this, high-efficiency guns on the hill, you know, a lot more equipment. And we continue. I mean, every year we're adding something or changing something. The, the father really started this industry in this area with the snowmaking, and here we are today. The fun doesn't stop in Westford, Massachusetts when the snow melts. During the summer, Neshoba does a tropical tiki bar transformation. Now it's like a little slice of island style out there on the beach with the tiki music and the thatching and the bands playing and it's a lot of fun. Didn't advertise because I said, you know, this thing's gonna be self-promoting. Beyond your wildest dream was <laughs> self-promoting. We put some character out there strumming on a piece of wood and they came out of the woodwork. Back in the old days, everybody did everything, and you know, Alan was right there. Jonathan Andrews has been here for 28 years. In the winter, he oversees the lift operators, but come fall, <coughs> he coordinates much of the haunted happenings, transforming the Shoba Valley into Witch's Woods, a Halloween scream park and haunted hayride, which runs in October. We have three haunted houses, one of which is indoors. Uh, the haunted houses are a labyrinth of walls. It's a tremendous amount of labor, but we know what we're doing with it now. Getting it decorated and keeping it fresh every year is definitely a challenge, and trying to make it keep getting better every year. Every time we get good at doing one thing, we're, we have to add something new. Just trying to scare the hell out of people. <laughs> and it works pretty good. <laughs> and that old gravel floor lodge with no electricity? Much nicer now home to the Outlook Restaurant and Lounge. Coming up on The Boss, Neshoba Valley is a family-run business, and as you might imagine, working with family can sometimes be rough. There's times they want to choke them. <laughs> Plus, anybody that bases their business plan on, on a storm actually hitting is out of their mind. How Alan keeps his cool, next on The Boss. Stay tuned to find out what inspires Al Fletcher. Anybody that bases their business plan on, on a storm actually hitting <laughs> is out of their mind. Certainly it's, a, it's just a gargantuan storm in terms of its scope. Major two-day event that's on the way, no question about that. Well, that's why in Hit a there. way our business is kind of <laughs> like gambling. Yeah, it's you true. Know, I mean, you wager your bet and see what happens, but I mean, we're so volatile because of the weather. What are you going to do? Yeah. That's the snow, that's snow business. Exactly. <laughs> you can say the Fletcher family's bets have paid off. Al Sr. has left them with a thriving business and a few lessons along the way. 
The biggest one, uh, you know, when I, when I first started out out of college in, into the business world, you know, if something went a little haywire, I'd kind of get pretty intense. I learned from him always keep mellow, especially if, if stuff really hits a ripple because, uh, you know, getting, getting excited about it's not going to fix it. Morning, guys. Working alongside family. Come on, open this place. Can sometimes present its own challenges. Well, there's always but those it's like, moments. It's, but like, it's like that no matter what. Yeah, whether, whether, with whether, anybody. Whether, whether, whether working, no matter who you're working yeah. with, there's times. There's times that you want to show them. <laughs> uh, in the end, you know, you got to resort it back to why are you here? What are you doing? Yeah. And, uh, you know, we're here to have fun with skiing and, and hopefully transcend that idea to our customers. Yeah, and I think you communication, know. too. I mean, you and I have been really good about, you know, if there's something that's not quite right, you know, we, we get it out and we, we move forward. And, and because yeah, otherwise like that spot of ketchup. Watch <laughs> 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 out. <laughs> I'll get I'll get you back. <laughs> no, but we, we we try to and we have you know I think the the nicest thing about the two of us is that we laugh. You know we we find humor in 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 things, especially if something. I mean, what are you gonna do if something goes wrong? Another key to their success has been location. I think the show is pretty fortunate in that it has two major highway routes right next to it. Route two is uh, is just off to our uh, south and west and. Just slightly to our north is Route 495. You know, within within a mile or two of both, as the, as the crow flies, uh, and that and that is really what has been a uh, a major attribute of Neshoba Valley is its proximity to uh, to the people. There's a lot of people. They've all had their hands in this, and they've all been supportive. They've all come up with ideas, and I think that's the success of a good business is when you can listen to all those ideas, mesh them together, and then try to travel forward. It's They've all had their hands. In it. <laughs> 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 all right, I'm bored. Can we go skiing yet? One of those people, of course, Mom Nancy. In instructed for a year or two, I think. She would fill she, out all the season passes. She told a perfect story about my brother and I. She had all the season passes one year laid out on a table by picture and name. And Paul came in and s swirled <laughs> around the pictures with the names in the back. And meanwhile, she was trying to type an important letter uh, for Neshoba. And I started the power outlet with a set of keys and and uh, yeah. took the power down in the whole house. <laughs> all this happened at once. And all of a sudden it was not me and I didn't do it. That was a normal reply. Not me and I didn't do it. Yeah, those two guys were responsible for a lot of stuff. Coming up on The Boss, the Fletchers understand the importance of forward thinking. We're gonna continue to seek uh, new revenue centers. But Al Sr. warns against going too fast. You know, you really wanna know what your operation is doing before you start changing. The Boss will be right back. What inspires the boss? Dad would always like find he a little place. He was Joey freestyle out He there. was way he, into he was, it. He, he liked going off the jump. He loved it. And he loved that thrill of, you know, catching air. He loved that thrill of finding his own line, you know. And, and I know that for, for myself growing up, I loved it. I wasn't afraid of going anywhere. This moment has been brought to you by Cambridge Savings Bank, inspired by the way you live. Whether it be winter, <coughs> fall, or summer, there's a lot going on over at Neshoba Valley. We're going to continue to seek uh, new revenue centers and, and also to uh, uh, hopefully expand upon what we've already got. Uh, you know, whether it be the ski area, the snow tubing park, <coughs> the food and beverage business, the summer activities business, like the, the recent addition of the uh, TP bar and function facility, uh, or even the, you know, the fall haunted theme park, which is Woods. I, all, all of those elements will, will continue to expand. Um, and we'll also look towards, you know, future future growth. Uh, you know, certainly uh, we've talked about some, some additional skiing uh, on the backside of the, of the existing hill. Um, we've also spoke about uh, some lodge, lodge expansions, uh, possibly maybe some uh, housing on that backside too. What does the former boss think about Neshoba's future? You know, anybody can show you the future. Buy him a drink quick. 
I mean, you know, he's worth his weight. <laughs> One of the biggest mistakes you can make is go too fast. So you really want to know what your operation is doing before you start changing. It's sometimes easy to change it, but it's hard to get it back to where it was. Like so many companies today, the Fletchers use their website and social media to reach out to their customers. Their daily video ski reports. For all you snow tubing enthusiasts, we have 18 lanes of snow tubing action. Make you long for winter. Have some fun, come on out. It's a good time at Neshoba today. Hey, Wayne Wong here. We're at Neshoba Valley where we've got 17 trails. It's a nice portal to get the message out there. They, they do morning uh, snow reports with it. SkiNeshoba.com as well as um, afternoons are usually spent in the terrain park with it. And new features in the terrain park. We're constantly updating our Facebook presence as well as our own website presence. Hopefully communicate in the, in the cyber community uh, the message that we're trying to get across. Had a lot of good times. I mean, it, the, the whole, my, my entire involvement with this industry has really just been because I, you know, I love skiing and, uh, you know, it's, it's really cool to, to see other people enjoying it. And, uh, and, you know, I still have a lot of fun with the sport. It's, it's a good time.